hey guys this is gonna be my uh, hopefully my first video um, I'm just getting started here I don't know if anybody I don't know if I have anybody who would want to see this but if I do it's just gonna be me with random you know video games I can play on my iPod in the background just talking about stuff that I think is uh, stuff that's important to me or that I think is relevant um, first thing I want to talk to talk about excuse me today is this video I saw, I, I saw it a few minutes ago, and it just, it just disgust, disgusted me, sorry. It's a video of two little girls. They look, I can't tell, but they look about eight or nine years old. And they're, <laughs> the one girl gets pushed into another girl, and they start fighting. Keep in mind, these are eight-year-olds, eight, nine, ten-year-old girls. They're fighting, fist fighting. The girl gets thrown on the floor. She's dragged through the grass and you know, punched in the face. And then around there's just a group of kids cheering, cheering them on. And you know, you hear the kids cursing in the background. They're cheering her on. You know, this girl is just, you know, being dragged through the grass and punched in the face repeatedly. And you know, the first girl she finishes, you know, fighting the first girl. And then another girl decides to, you know, enter the fight as well. And she she gets you know attacked too. They're both fighting. She starts fighting with the other girl, and the other girl gets beat up. She gets punched in the face, kicked in the face, and the the whole time no one's doing anything to stop it. You hear people cheering in the background, and you know you have the the, the kids that are there. There's a there's a bunch of kids you know around just watching this, and it just it it saddens me. It disgusts me how how kids are these days. You know, I'm I'm 21. You know, I grew up in the 90s. When I was that young, I I wasn't even th remotely thinking about fighting anyone. I was thinking of <laughs> video games and friends and going outside and play. It's and I grew up. I grew up, and I'm still here in the Bronx. And you know, I, I live in New York. I don't know if I should have said that. But whatever. I live in New York in the Bronx, and you know, pe people. We think you know the Bronx is a bad place, but I grew up, a, you know, a rather, a rather, I don't know what I'm saying that, you know, a relatively violent, free life. You know, I, I've had little scuffles, but nothing really, you know, worth you know bragging about. I don't want to say that's a horrible thing to brag about, but you know, just I, I didn't really get into fights. I just, you know, I lived my life. I, I, I didn't you know, seek trouble. I don't believe that's the way that anybody should, you know, live their life to seek trouble or fight anyone. But these kids now, they're just, every, they're so bad. <laughs> For lack of a better word, they're just bad kids. I don't know why it's, why it's become this. These kids, you know, they fight, they curse. You know, I walk down the street, I hear little kids cursing and, you know, bragging about stuff like that. I heard a girl, I, I saw a girl's bragging about having sex and she's 14. She's bragging about the amount of sex partners she's had as she's 14. It's, it's, it's horrible. Um, but yeah, that's, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it's terrible what, what's become of this, this world, this generation. You know, there's, I don't, I shouldn't blame the entire, there are some kids obviously that you know have goals and are brought up well and you know even if they aren't brought up well they probably you know maintain a, a, a relatively free you know violent free lifestyle they, they choose to make that decision I, I always believe that you have the choice of how you live your life regardless of how you're brought up you can be brought up in a bad neighborhood or a good neighborhood and regardless to, of, of what you know you were privileged to have or not you make the decision of your of your of your future you know you decide if you're gonna let a bad childhood you know dictate you know your future you can choose to either live the life that you want or a life that you think is set out for you again I know you know I, I might be biased because I've, I've been able to do this and I didn't have you know you know, a luxurious lifestyle when I was growing up. I lived a relatively normal life. You know, I had, you know, some perks here and there, but nothing, you know, worth bragging about. And, you know, I was content with that. I'm happy with the lifestyle I've had. You know, I'm happy with the friends I've had and the people I've met. This is probably dragging on, so I'm just going to probably stop it here. Anyway, if you guys want to see more, hear more about what I say or think, if anybody sees this, just comment or like or whatever that's do whatever you think is good <laughs>
thanks for watching if anybody did and have a nice day. Hey, this is just in case anybody wanted to see how the rest of the Pokemon battle went. Uh, I had a little trouble with the editing, so I decided just to, you know, put this in here in case anybody was interested and wanted to see how it, how it ended. Uh, if you're watching it, then you probably see I won, so, yeah. <laughs> Bye.